Hello YouTube viewers, this is Tim doing my second video on the Outerbox Defender Series case for the HTC EVO 3D 4G phone. Uh, this phone is from Virgin Mobile. And here's the good case for it, uh, Defender Series from Outerbox. Uh, I got this off of Amazon for roughly $25. And it actually went up in price uh, after I ch when I was checking. Uh, if it's shipped or not, and while checking it, it's now about 35 the one that's uh, shipped and sold from Amazon. It might be even more by the time this video is posted. Kind of weird. Usually this stuff goes down in price. So I'm going to get into this. Here's the box. Uh, there's their site, the series that this case is, and for what phone. Where it's made from, and uh, uh, how many layers of protection is three layers? There's screen protector, rubber on the outside, and a two piece um, plastic design. Um, there's a saying of theirs. Here also says Defender Series. Okay, I'm going to get into opening it. It's not much in the box. Um, also, on the inside, there's the installation guide for it. It's going to be coming in this kind of box. Clip into the back and take it out. And set that aside. Okay, here it is the case. There's the holster for it, which also can be a kickstand. If you kind of put that back, there's the horizontal, there's the vertical. Very nice. I wanted something like this. Okay. Put that aside for a sec. And here's the case itself. Uh, there's a screen protector right there. And screen protectors on the camera and flash. But the speakers open. Uh, flaps for the 3D switch. Microphone jack and a USB port. Uh, there are these little indents for the clip for it to go in there and stay secure. I want this side. Uh, here's a power button, the volume control, and camera button. Okay, I'm gonna try to take this off. These flaps are very flimsy, not very good, most of the reviews say, so when you take this off, try to take it off just with your fingers, not by the flaps. Okay. Here's the silicone around it, and there's plastic on the inside. Okay. Open this. Uh, there's also a foam design right here, or maybe like a rubberish thing for more padding for the foam. Uh, Outerbox logo. And their patents and where it's made and whatnot. Okay. So, here's my phone. I still have the original screen protector. The on here, so I won't mess it up. So I'm gonna take this off and finally. Also, got this kind of glass cleaner thing right here. I'm gonna try to make sure that no dust builds up on here. Uh, so there's an any dust under the screen membrane. Okay. 
tried my best. If anything, I'll clean it later on. Okay, so here's the first part. Just kind of want to pop it in right side up into the screen protector. Okay, and yeah, this is what I really like about the built in is that I constantly get dust on the screen when I apply screen protectors. And here it's just I can always take it off and clean it if needed. Okay, second part just gonna clip in the back. Okay, that is secure. Gonna get the silicone around it. Okay, I worked it on the case and alright, now it's on. Let me close all this up. Next pretty good. It's definitely noticeably heavier. Um, here's a 2D 3D switch. Which is a bit harder to get into there now. But I mostly use 2D. Uh, that's under 3D USB charger data cable very easy to get into headphones jack I like that it covers it up it's very nice and uh, what I like though is that the buttons are really easy to press I, I can easily change the volume very responsive too. Like I'm gonna try to um, maybe see how responsive that screen is. I don't know. Temple run usually requires a lot of uh, responsiveness from the screen. Just to see, since this isn't like directly applied on here. Mm, look, it seems very nice. I like it. Okay. Now. Uh, the holster. This one can go in here, I guess. Mostly, if you're gonna probably like put on your belt or something, and it can also go in front ways for kickstand mode, which is what I like about this. You can view videos and whatnot on here like this now, and it can also. Well, it's horizontal mode, and this turns 180 degrees for convenience. So, here's my first unboxing and impressions of this case. Uh, in about a week or so after I've had some experience with this, I will try to post a review. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye, all.